from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Morning, I'm Nathan Flinchball with your Campus Weather Service forecast for today, February 11th, 2016. We'll start off by taking a live look outside at Happy Valley this morning. Sun just beginning to come up. It looks pretty outside. We have the fresh coating of snow on the ground, but it doesn't feel so great out there this morning uh, compared to where we've been earlier this week. 12 degrees, not too hard to take, but we do have winds out of the west-northwest, 14 miles per hour, which is our driving, driving our wind chill down to minus three. So be sure to bundle up as you head outside this morning, grab the hat and gloves. And as I mentioned, we have a fresh coating of snow out there, um, primarily provided to us by these lake effect streamers that were coming through State College on and off throughout the night. Now most of them are shifting to the south of State College. We're getting a little bit of clearing, but we could see another um, lake effect snow band move through here really at any point throughout the rest of the morning. And as a result, um, some of these higher elevation spots off to the west of State College, including Clearfield and down through the Laurel Highlands, Elk County, are under a winter weather advisory, and that's in effect until 10 o'clock tonight. And uh, future radar will show this uh, pretty well. Uh, again, long streamers coming off of Lake Erie. Um, so if we get in on any of these snow bands, we could pick up another inch to maybe two inches uh, to potentially even more in some of the um, heavier bands across the higher elevations. But by 10 p.m. tonight, when that advisory expires in the Laurel Highlands, we're drying out and we're clearing out as we head through the overnight. We'll be clear for a good portion of the, the day tomorrow, and then clouds will increase in the afternoon, and another round of snow will be with us uh, again Friday afternoon and Friday evening with our weekend system. The other big story, of course, is the temperatures. Uh, temperatures across the state right now are in the single digits across the higher elevations. Teens for much of central and western Pennsylvania still hanging on to some 20s in southeast Pennsylvania, but remember, it is a bit breezy out there, so these temperatures feel um, a lot colder than what they actually are. And up here in Canada, it's pretty darn cold across central and eastern interior Canada. Temperatures in the teens to 20s below zero. The reason I'm showing this is because this is really where our weather is going to be coming from over the course of the weekend. We have a cold dome of Arctic air centered right around Hudson Bay right now. But as we head into the weekend, that's going to actually dislodge from Canada and land right here in Pennsylvania, at least for a couple of days, uh, just in time for the Valentine's Day weekend as the jet uh, sinks well to our south and allows that cold air to stream on in. It will be windy this weekend as well, so if we factor the temperatures and the winds together, this is how cold it will feel across the state by about 3.30 p.m. Saturday afternoon, single digits below zero here in State College and much of southern and central Pennsylvania, northwest Pennsylvania in the teens below zero. Saturday night looks like our coldest night, uh, so as you wake up on Sunday, um, it's going to be feeling like the teens below zero across much of the state, even the 20s below zero across the northern tier. Finally, as we head into the day on Sunday, the winds will start to diminish a little bit, so we'll feel a little bit better, but single digits above zero still uh, here in central Pennsylvania. So the wind chill is probably going to be, be below zero for the majority of this upcoming weekend here in State College. So if you have any plans to take you outside, uh, prepare for that. You're going to want to bundle up and... Um, cover up extremities um, as we're going to see a uh, relatively dangerous cold outbreak uh, this weekend. Your forecast for today, though, scattered snow showers. It'll be cold today, 20 degrees, your high temperature, west winds 10 to 20 miles per hour, occasionally gusting over 30, which again will drive our wind chills much lower than this uh, afternoon temperature today. Clearing tonight, cold, 9 degrees, your overnight low temperature, again, winds out of the west. 10 to 15 miles per hour gusting at times to 25. Um, so that will definitely drive this number below zero as far as the wind chills are concerned. Tonight will be a cold night. Taking a look at the seven day forecast, increasing clouds for the day on Friday, 23 degrees. Tomorrow is not actually gonna be that bad. Winds are gonna diminish. We'll have a little bit of sunshine. We'll get into the 20s at least. But then the cold outbreak begins on Saturday. It'll be accompanied by some snow showers, particularly Saturday morning. Highs only reaching 11 here in State College and overnight lows bottoming them out below zero. 
Mostly sunny on Sunday. 16 is all we'll reach. Finally, we'll start to see some improvement on Monday, but the chance of snow will come back. Highs reaching 28. And then we get back above normal by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week because we could get a little bit of a rain-snow mix for both of those days with highs getting into the upper 30s. And once again, from the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Nathan Flinchball. Have a great day and stay warm.